drive through hanging out looking forward to some pretzel bites and maybe some flavor of the day not sure what it is but i had a subscriber yesterday or the day before comment on one of my walmart videos that they were interested in seeing how greater workplace was going for my store if you're here for my teaching talk feel free to scoot on off but if you're interested stick around so it's called gwp greater workplaces if you're not familiar with the walmart lingo and basically it's one big giant dumpster fire they implemented it in about October, in the middle of a pandemic, right before the holidays, and they just expected some great, miraculous, fantastic things. And do you think that happened? Oh no. My Walmart is a very tidy store. It follows Walmart expectations. It follows Academy standards. My Walmart is actually an Academy store, which means they actually train other Walmart supervisors, managers, store managers, the expectations and the routines of the company. Academy standards went into the garbage earlier this summer and have never made their way out of the garbage. We used to be so picky that we cared about what direction the signs went, how far in inches that pallets were from each other, or that the signposts are lined up, or the same metal color, that there's only four things of apparel on a hanger, and that they're each sized and finger spaced between each hanger. Do you think that happens anymore? No. Greater Workplace has just made a giant dumpster fire of everything. My Walmart is a 100 million to 120 million store, which means in an average year, we make somewhere between 100 million and 120 million, which is a whole lot of money. And right now, it's the week before Christmas. We are averaging $600,000 a day. Crazy. So please enjoy all of these pictures and videos that I took off the clock as just a regular old customer and let me explain to you what Greater Workplaces has done to what used to be a top 10 store in the country. Yes, we've won awards for being a top division one store, which means like the bigger, busier stores. And now we're just a giant flaming dumpster fire. We'll start with the main issue of Greater Workplaces, which is how they restructured things. So they call it restructuring because we used to have things called department managers. So in apparel, where I primarily work, there used to be a department manager over women's and jewelry, someone over men's, someone over boys and girls, someone over intimate, someone over shoes and infants together. And now there's supposed to be three people that are in charge of all of that apparel area and they're supposed to do the mods, the price changes, bring out the new product and just do regular modular integrity, which means that everything is how it's supposed to be and it follows the mod, which is if you're not a Walmart person, that's that the labels are in the correct order and they're all there, they're not missing, all the pegs are the right size. But to be successful, you have to be in those areas and know what you're doing. Some of these people have never worked in apparel before. Some of these people have only worked in their one apparel department and now they're being thrown into random apparel departments daily. They have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea of the routines that needs to be done. And they're totally overwhelmed because they're not prepared for this. There's no training. There's nothing. They've just been gifted this lovely job. At my store, as far as I know, no one's quit their uh, team leader role, but on other Walmart sites like the Reddit, their Facebook pages, um, people are quitting in droves because it's a whole lot of work and you really aren't getting paid that much more than you would have as a department manager. Oh, and should I say this? They call it a team. So you're supposed to be in charge of a team as a team leader. There's no team. There's nobody to be hired. Nobody wants a job. But then when they got rid of all these department managers, they kind of demoted them. Now they're just like a regular associate, but they're expecting these team members under these team leaders to do the work of what a team leader would be. They're trying to get the team leaders to teach everyone around them how to do the role. So the team leader is only in charge of getting people to do the work. When really people are smart enough to realize that this is the old job that they used to do as a department manager, they're not gonna put in the effort that they used to because they're not getting paid for it. Well, we're just trying to save some money and it's not working because our store is a disaster. And it's not even the fact that it's the holidays, it's that nobody is in their department. We'll go back to apparel. Usually our bins, which is like our Wacos, are capped at least three times a week. Um, honestly, they were capped last week by Cap One, who is not their job at all. And before that, it was over a month. We have pallets and pallets and pallets of stuff in trailers and up in the steel. And our store never has apparel on pallets, never. But there's no one to work it. Our team leaders are always in home lines or toys. So they have all these responsibilities that they're supposed to be covering in apparel, but they're never in apparel to actually do the job. And then there are other things in apparel, like let's say the jewelry section, like the batteries, where you're supposed to be in charge of like what the theft is and monitoring what the levels of stock is. And if say someone steals the entire selection of 12, 16 batteries that you mark it to a zero so that you can get new ones in. I last did it in August and 
nobody's done it since. I can tell because it still says we have 20 of all these batteries. How do we don't have 20 of these batteries? Update, they don't have pretzel bites anymore. Oh, so disappointing. So this person's store has so much freight that they had to keep some of it outside. So I just wanted to end this little video by saying I've been an associate at this store for getting close to 10 years now and I've honestly never seen it this bad and as you can see from other people they have also never seen it this bad. 
you go in every single day for work and it honestly just seems like a hopeless situation because there's just literally so much free. Today I was marking down some pajamas that we had over 50 of every single size. And if you think of extra small through 3X times that by 50, that's a whole lot of pajamas. And there's no wonder we have pallets of freight everywhere because we just have so much of everything. And it's almost January and we're already getting into spring clothes. So it's 30 degrees in Wisconsin and we're starting to get shorts in. Yep. That makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you're interested in more Walmart videos and I'll be sure to try them for you. Um, it is harder to film like Walmart stuff because obviously you shouldn't be filming while you're on the clock and most of what I do is on the clock at Walmart. But if you're interested in any other sort of Walmart videos, let me know. I'll give it my best try. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one.